right, well, <laughs> now that we go back to the, con the more controlling version, here's a deck that we want to be as aggressive as possible against. Shiro says Bork. We'll mulligan everything. We're looking for Lightning Bloom Squall Hunter. Oh, Surging Tempest into Lightning Bloom Squall Hunter. All right, well, that's that's a, the sort of draw that can beat up a uh, beat up a druid. Shiro, what are you barking about? You already had your lunch. I mean, this is this is what you know this deck is capable of doing for pressure. Am I watching LCS playoffs? It'd be kind of hard to do that in the stream at the same time. Are you playing the uh, stealth guy? Yep. Well, I have no mana this turn. Zap them. So my opponent has would have to have another. I could like attack here and have um have crystal power. Shiro, buddy. Oh, we are not attacking this. That guy's getting molten blasted. And I'm gonna have a five, seven, and four guys. All right, well, who's lightning blooming better this game? So far it's me. Yeah, Shiro, Shiro is trying to bork the druids away. Wild growth, okay. So that puts my opponent to six mana next turn. Um, Let's marsh spawn. We're separating the big things. We'll take the Serpent Shrine portal. I think we do uh, nine right here. Yeah, we're gonna take the Serpent Shrine portal. We'll hit you for nine. One more with the Rune Dagger. So my opponent could innervate into Guardian Animals, but has to kill this, or I just kill him with the Serpent Shrine Portal. So he'd have to double attack into this, and my board kills him. So he could, like, kill Fuss turn. It's basically the only way that he can, I think, get back from this. I mean, the Surging Tempest was actually quite good here, right? The Surging Tempest, you know, pressured my opponent significantly and got the damage on the Twilight Runner, so I was able to kill it with the, um, the Molten Burst. Molten Blast. Oh, you're dead if you're just Breath of Dreams in here. There's literally nothing. Well, you could have, you could have like swipe into Bog Beam, yeah. But it's still you're you're just dead to my Serpent Shrine Portal if you're just doing that. Okay, Bog Beam, Bog Beam, Moonfire. <laughs> there we go. Got him. Clearly, this version is the best. Hundred percent win rate. I will keep Surging Tempest. I'll keep Rune Dagger against Paladin. I haven't played against a Paladin in, like, several games. Well met. Yep. <clears throat> Sometimes I wonder if, the, if, if any opponent that I've ever played against does not have Hand of a Doll, Elder Attendant going first. If it's even possible to not have it. Huh. Well, I would love it devolving missiles right about now, but this is not game. We have very much game here. <laughs> sure. Well, that may be game, because I don't have a dragon. If I had a dragon, we would be in trouble still. Let's Fireheart. Devolving Missiles, let's go. Nope. I could, like, evolve this. Then my opponent has a 4-drop, which is probably a, like, not that much different in size. And this, or this becoming a 7-drop, also not that different. I don't think evolving my opponent's guy is really valuable. I think I'll evolve my own guy. Okay. Probably just die to the Murlocs after this. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's good. So this attacks here. Face, 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 plague. <laughs> oh, man. Well. You versus the Murlocs she tells you not to worry about. Dragon? Oh boy. <laughs> death, death by liver of justice. Oh man. That was actually just so silly. Like literally it was Aldor into hand into Alora plus first day of school for Blessing of Kings into Aldor into Libra of Hope into all my opponents Murlocs being big and all mine being one power <laughs> and me not having a dragon for lightning breath. <laughs> if it could go wrong, it went wrong that game. And my molten breath meant that like, you know, not being able to molten breath that turn meant that the Felmaw like that the Felmaw like, you know, didn't have like a bunch of one ones to possibly attack, and then I didn't have the other molten breath. It's kind of brutal. We'll take Vosh. We'll just plan to turn two Vosh here. Water is life. Well, there's a Velma. Hmm. I got a Surging Tempest Hero Power. Part of this is actually just making more things for when the turn that my opponent um, actually has the Felmaw come up. There's no real incentive to the Runic Dagger yet, so I want to just Hero Power here. Okay, Python. What are you coining? Overwhelm, okay. Sure. Um, I'm actually gonna play the Rune Dagger now because I might wanna be able to get the, uh, the spell damage with Raz. And my opponent can kill this on board with that. Okay. That's the best thing for me that he attacks into, honestly. Mocknathal, okay. That's actually super powerful here. Oof. You cannot go face. That's not allowed. Well, I can attack this. Raz will do three to everything and clear off these, but my opponent gets two four fours, which is kind of gross. God, the Mocknathal plus this, and then the overall man guy is really actually super annoying. All right, well. Sure. Is it gonna be pack tactics? Okay, let's not attack into pack tactics right now. This accomplishes very little for me. I guess I might as well play this here. Like, we're gonna get, like, we can't play this plus this next turn. I'll take another Vosh, I think. I can play this plus this next turn, maybe. Eh, probably not. We'll take a Vosh. Okay. Yep, so it's pack tactics. I mean, it could be snake trap, but it's not snake trap. What she sends in Goro, and I was there when you burnt Gul'dan. I thought it was me and Ben Brode in that room. Uh, 
Okay, so it's not Highlander. Oh! I was gonna say, can I draw a Lightning Breath? And this gives me a pretty high chance, too. Oh, well, there's one anyway. I guess we actually just want to play this one, because we're guaranteed it. Yeah. And we can still play Vosh Prime next turn with the Squall Hunter up. Sure. Okay. I guess we start with this attacking phase. Yep. So, I think I just play Vosh Prime and hope to not just get, like, Lightning Bloom, Lightning Bloom, Lightning Bloom. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so that I was hoping I didn't get was Lightning Bloom, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. And then there it is. I think we just save all this. I don't think I, like, Bolt this. Maybe I do. Six is just so much damage. And I have so much ability to get spell power. Yeah, no, we're just gonna... We're just gonna chill. We don't even necessarily need to attack, right? Like, am I just dead? Do you just have kill command, kill command? <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, well, we could we could have bolted this to not die to kill command, kill command. Even kill the other thing. That's just. Oh my god. <laughs> my luck. With, with some of these games has just been, like, pretty atrocious. Like, there's a game where I had against the Warlock where I literally do zero burn spells the entire game, and then that one where I draw the, the like, three worst spells in my entire deck to draw with Vosh. Like, we literally have Molten Blast, Serpent Shrine Portal, Lightning Breath, all of which, like, are just fantastic on that board to clear off my opponent's ability to, like, pressure me or just kill my opponent if I draw three of them. But, oh well. 